Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a midweek family winner. This is a dinner that goes down really well with our family and the best part of it is it's proper comfort food. It's mac and peas. And if you've had mac and cheese, this is mac and cheese, but with peas. So basically you're still getting the mac, you're getting the cheese, but you're adding peas. And always that's a win in my books because I always have frozen peas. There's sweetness and great flavor from peas. We're gonna sort of make a pea pesto with basil, pine nuts, a little bit of cheese, and essentially stir that through a white sauce, get it through our cooked pasta, and bake it all in the oven with plenty of cheese. It's a winner every time. If you want the recipe, as always, I'll leave it in the box below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and let's get going. So just like any other mac and cheese recipe, we're gonna start off with our pasta elbows. You can use macaroni, of course, but I quite like the different shapes that these little elbows give. You can find these in most supermarkets and uh, use whatever short pasta you can get your hands on. Sometimes I make this with rigatoni, I'll make it with penne. So don't be caught up on my finding these, but they are pretty nice when you get your hands on them and mix them in with the peas. So we're gonna get these into a pot of boiling salted water and then cook them off until they're just about al dente. Okay, pasta is cooking off. My kitchen has now been invaded by two kids who've come home from school. Hello, are you gonna watch me make some pasta? Anyway, if you're wondering what the noise is in the background, that's what it will be. Um, so we've got our pasta cooking off. We're gonna make a pea pesto essentially. So I've got peas, basil, a little bit of ricotta, some pine nuts, and plenty of olive oil to bring this together alongside some cheese. So into the food processor and let's get blitzing. Okay, so with this basic mixture, get the lid on and give it a good blitz before we add the cheese in. Now, to make this really creamy pesto sort of mac and cheese sauce, not only are we gonna get all that vibrant green from the peas and the basil, but I wanna make this quite creamy. So we've got saltiness from some Parmesan cheese, which I've just roughly grated, and I've also got some mascarpone, which is rich and creamy and absolutely gorgeous in this. It's like a next level decadent mac and cheese, and it's so good. So into the mixer, season it up, and let's get blitzing. Okay, quick taste. It's exactly where it needs to be. You know what would be lovely in here is some mint leaves if you had them, because pea and mint always works really well. But the basil alone lifts the flavor. The sweetness of the peas works really well. A bit more salt, and that is absolutely golden. We're gonna make up our white sauce next. So very simple, equal parts butter and flour to a pot, and let's get cooking. Right, my pan is coming up to temperature. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this pasta and see where we're at. It should be pretty much cooked at this point. Yep, that's exactly where it is. So, off with our pasta, get this drained, and then let's make our white sauce. <laughs> okay, pasta cooked, gonna cool a little bit, drained, ready to rock, time for our white sauce. So we're gonna start off by melting in our butter, mixing through our flour, and then adding stock. As soon as the flour is in there, work quite quickly to mix that through. And essentially what you're looking to do is create a nice roux. And you cook this out. Don't be tempted to add any stock or milk at this point until you've cooked out that flour. It should smell like cooked pastry. And that's what they always say, isn't it? Okay, we've got a nice roux. Smells like cooked pastry. So I'm actually making this with veggie stock, but you could do this with milk if you wanted. So let's start adding and smoothing. Give that a good whisk through, and you're just gonna bring this up to temperature. You'll start to see it thicken quite quickly, so keep your eye on this, and as soon as it has, take it off the heat, and we're gonna stir through some of that pesto. Okay, this has thickened up really nicely at this point, so I'm gonna take about half to three quarters worth of my pesto, mix that through so we have a nice vibrant green sauce. I'm actually gonna keep a little bit back so I can swirl it through once we put this into the pasta dish. And it's those little touches that really make the difference to making this look gorgeous once it goes in the oven. So pop that out, get your pesto in, and give it a good mix. Give that a mixture and you can see instantly you've got this wibbly wobbly creamy pea sauce that is gonna be so good with the pasta. So season that up, 
sea salt, black pepper, give it a taste, and then we're gonna get a pasta in there too. I don't know if you can hear it, but that is the noise of proper comfort food. It always makes me smile because it's just that sort of oozy, gorgeous pasta through sauce mix that always sounds good. And it just means that you're very close to mac and cheese heaven. I could eat this straight from the pot as it is, but we're going the next level here. We're gonna tip this into the tray. We're gonna get it into the oven alongside some cheese, a little bit more of that pesto, and bake this off until it's bubbling and golden. We're nearly in mac and cheese heaven, guys. <laughs> Stick with me. Okay, pasta in, time for finishing touches. I've got some mozzarella, I've got some parmesan, we're gonna sprinkle that over. I'm also gonna add in some more peas, just so you have some nice little peas action in there as well. Plus, to finish it off, no, that's everything. Oh, about the last bit of pesto. We're gonna use the last bit of pesto just to swirl through as well. Finishing touch of a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is now gonna go into the oven at about 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's gonna cook off for about 20 minutes just until that top has caught, it's bubbling, and we've got gorgeous pasta action. Let's cook. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. A serious mac and cheese straight out of the oven. It's absolutely beautiful at this point, it's bubbling. So you could leave it for a moment, but when have I ever eaten food cold on this channel? So we're gonna dive straight in here. We're gonna finish off this mac and cheese with a little bit of Parmesan, but look at that. Oh, steaming pasta, cheesy strings of mozzarella and it is so essential that you get some of that crust over the top. Whoa, look at that. Finishing it off with a tiny touch of Parmesan cheese and a last little drizzle of some good quality extra virgin olive oil. And now, all that's left is the taste test. Stringy cheese, beautiful pasta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you love pesto, if you love peas, you're gonna love this simple mac and cheese recipe. It's so good, it is proper comfort food. As we come into autumn, this is what I wanna be eating on a cold, dark night. Not that it's like that today, but ultimately, perfect family, back to school food, proper comfort food. If you want the full recipe, as always, it's in the box below. Leave me a comment letting me know if you're gonna try my mac and peas. And until then, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, so I'll see you soon. Mm. Go.